Hello and welcome to the 58th tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at menu alignment. We'll be using the source code from the 57th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with all the desired functionality for manipulating menus and its items. In this tutorial, we will cover how Cocos 2D JS handles menu alignment without us having to set the positioning manually ourselves as we have done over the past couple of tutorials. So let's just go ahead and open up our app.js which contains all our menu code so far. First of all, just going to remove the set position because like I said, we're not going to need this. And if we go down here, instead of setting the position here like that, we need to get rid of this. And now what we're going to do is, it's really simple, you just need one line you need to do the name of your menu dot align items vertically obviously this will align them vertically if you want to align them horizontally just put align items horizontally and this is a method save it and now if we just open up our web browser if we open up terminal cd to our project directory run our project Okay, as you can see, they have now aligned vertically. Obviously, there is no space. It's literally just one on top of each other, and they can still be used as normal. But there's also another great method, which is similar to align item vertically or horizontally, but it is with padding. And this allows you to specify some padding in pixels. So I'm going to put 50. Save it. Now, if I go back to the web browser, refresh. As you can see, they are more spread out. And obviously, what you could do, and I want you to do this as an extra task, use the size variable, aka this, and try and create a dynamic padding. So, depending, it is so irrelevant uh, of the screen size or your device, it'll be padded nicely and it'll look like it's even how we did the manual positioning. But you can always go back to the manual position if you want that, if you want a bit more flexibility. Also, look into the horizontal uh, method, as well. It's really easy to just go to change this to horizontal. Okay, and well, that is it, uh, really. And more information regarding menus and menu items can be found in the Cocos 2D JS API Go. No task for you to do, which is really easy, is as we mentioned to set the items positioning to horizontal and try and create a dynamic padding uh, value. We now have a menu with menu items aligned automatically. In the next tutorial, we will cover creating new scenes because we have app.js, which is a scene. Uh, you have the layer there. You have the scene here. We're going to create some new ones. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.